Do you think you sentimentalize? I sentimentalize something. I sentimentalize the bagel. I sentimentalize the Jewish people. But I don't sentimentalize Dickens. He was just the business. I've held this evening Dickens' pen. Yes. I've had this tiny little, just a little stick. It's barely bigger than a toothpick with a little nib on the end. When you held Dickens' pen, your first reaction was that it made you incredibly sad. Yes, it made, well, it made me sad because it's the past and Dickens is no more and we are mortals and, you know, and there with that pen, and he was, he was called the immortal, and there with that pen he wrote, you know, he wrote forever and the words are there forever, but he's not there forever. I'm so sorry we don't have the letter Too opener much. here. We have a wonderful ivory letter opener, uh, which has the paw of his dead cat, Bob. Can you believe that you're touching that? Look at what, what, what impression? I'm holding Dickens' pen. No, it's very, it's actually quite, it's quite upsetting. It is, it's quite upsetting, isn't it? I mean, it was such an inert object, and such, it's such an unbeautiful a, object, and, and you, really, just a plain thing, and so much vitality in that. I mean, of all writers, of all writers, you know, the, the, you feel that anything that they've touched, you feel the vitality of that, of that writer. I've seen a Dickens reading copy of, of The Christmas Carol, in which he does what I do when I prepare bits of things to read, and I was sort of ashamed that I did it, and I would have thought Dickens wouldn't need to, where he cuts bits out and pastes and crosses things out and says, and gives instructions to himself, it, that, that goes, read this weirdly, um, add in intense pathos, um, take yourself slow, it gives instructions to himself. But he gave these wonderful readings. Dickens wandered around Britain and gave readings to 5,000 people. It killed him. The readings killed him. He couldn't stop doing it. He loved, he was the last of the, of the novelists as entertainer. I'd love to be in that. I'd love to be able to do that now. Look at the simplicity of it. My machinery now, my machinery to write with them. Things whirring them. This, that. No, 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 no great expectations. We have you're, but you're upsetting me now. And you were also so interested because it was such a slim little bit. A little bit of nothing. And I, I have these banks of machines that I work with. Computers which I kind of hate and you love at the same them. time. Every time I hate the computer, I, mean, I go out and buy another one. I rail against the computers. I'm a Luddite. I hate this machinery. And I've now come to be dependent upon it. And he could do it with that little, that little pen. Thank <laughs> you.